Howdy ho friends, it's Michelle with another weekly wax meltdown to share with you today. This is where I give you thoughts on everything I've melted over the last week in my home. And as usual, we start with the biggest stack in front of me, which is Scentsy, because I love it. And I have one Kringle and then a few candles to share my thoughts about as well. As far as Scentsy goes, I actually did some mixes too this week. Some hits, some misses on those, but we'll get to those in a little bit. Let's just start here with Bayberry and Current. This was last year's scent of the season, and I believe it's still available in clearance. You might check if you're interested in a Bayberry type scent. It's Peppery Bayberry, Fresh Juniper, and Bright Current. I really liked this one last year. But for some reason, whether it's the wax curing a, that long or my nose changing, I get a lot more of a peppery note to it. I do really like some Bayberry scents because of that freshness that it gives. But yeah, this is a little too peppery for me personally. Uh, you still get that fre freshness from the Bayberry and the Juniper. As far as current, maybe a little bit, but maybe 10 15 percent current i mean at least right now to my nose or when i warmed it to my nose that peppery bayberry came out the most and um medium too strong scent as well if you're interested i, I still think that's in clearance next we've got candy cane buttercream the infamous Scent this year, <laughs> peppermint candy cane, vanilla bean with frosted, frosted with buttercream. A very sweet, almost marshmallowy peppermint. I don't tend to like peppermint, but I really like this scent. Um, only available right now, I think, if you put it in your Scentsy Club. Uh, <clears throat> and as far as performance, it's... It's not the strongest performer. I would say closer to light, maybe medium, depending on the room. Just not, it doesn't last that long though. That's the real big downside, which may be part of why I'm not gonna put it in my club. But either way, maybe it'll come back next year. Who knows? And I actually went through two bars of that. Actually, one of those is a bar, the original bar, that I only melted half of because I didn't have others. And when I got the others in from my club order, I finished melting that one, plus one that came, came from the club. I also put the scent circle in a closet, and like others have said, that did not do very well for me. I mean, I could smell it maybe when I first put it there in there, a small closet, but beyond that non-existent next this is the scent of the month for this month cinnamon pine cone this is sparkling pine cones adorn classic fir balsam branches and classic hints of sweet cinnamon stick this is nice it's not my type of scent necessarily but it is um that woody with a little bit of um, like fur balsam and a little bit of cinnamon. The cinnamon's not overdone. I'm just not a huge fan of uh, the woody cinnamon scents for some reason. That's just me. But it is a nice kind of a classic type scent. Um, not that great of a performer either though. I would say at most a medium. Maybe closer to light for that one. Next is Cozy Cardigan. This is Soft Suede Blushing Rose and Amber Silk. And this has been around since 2018. And it's a lovely, cozy, slight romantic type scent. Don't let the rose notes scare you off. Um, it, as a matter of fact, you know, I changing the subject a little bit, but the scent notes in the scent of the month for January, that scent is called, is pineapple rose. I haven't smelled it yet. I will get a bar in January when it launches, 
but I think it specifically says blushing rose in the scent notes. Um, so I kind of wonder if it's like this rose note that's in here. I mean, obviously you've got soft suede, which you definitely get here, but it's it's not like a leather store type scent. It's a cozy, romantic, feminine even scent. Very nice. <coughs> Sorry. Next is Disney Princess True Love Awaits. Ripe Raspberry Mandarin Sweet Vanilla. And this is a good fruity, um, kind of childlike scent. I really like it though. And you know, when it was melting this time in this room, just an average size bedroom, it kind of reminded me of a sweeter version, a more concentrated, sweeter version of Champagne Toast by Bath & Body Works. That fruity kind of scent that that Champagne Toast note, or toast scent has. Anyway, I like this. I hope it stay, sticks with us. And performance-wise, I would say it's a good medium um, in this room. Of course, that's going to depend on your house and your nose, but I, I get decent performance from that, and I like it. Okay, next, let's jump to, I think we're kind of going in a little bit of an alphabetical order. Some scent pods in Eskimo Kiss. Uh, blackberry jam, caramelized brown sugar, vanilla, and amber. And Eskimo Kiss is currently known as Polar Bear Hug. We changed the name of it. I can't smell anything in these pods anymore. But Eskimo Kiss Polar Bear Hug is a great, sweet, kind of romantic type scent as well. I wouldn't even really call it necessarily a childlike scent. But, um, yeah, it's a nice, sweet and I had those I think going in the laundry room which is a smaller room I personally don't get really great performance for most scent pods I actually have make a splash going right now in the um, in our bathroom that's attached to our bedroom and that one's doing good but I've heard that that one does great anyway all right moving on to stuff we got now um, uh-oh. Season of Magic. Oh, I skipped one. Sorry. Pumpkin Roll. <laughs> um, another Scent Todd pack. This is Creamy Pumpkin Pie, Yellow Cake, Pecan, Butter, and Spice. And this is not usually my wheelhouse in, in, for scents. I don't like, I don't love, I guess, bakery type scents, but this can't hardly get anything but maybe a little cinnamon from it right now but it's good I like that it's that yellow cake with the pumpkin so it's it's not like super cinnamon it's not over the top sweet or anything like that it's just a pumpkin roll kind of so enjoyed that now seasons of magic sugar crystals and frosty icicles twinkle and shine over sweet pine wild berries filling the air with magic I think I said this in my haul video. I'm not a huge fan of this. It has a weird artificial, like, fake note in it. I think it's just the combination, though, of the scent notes for me. That sugar crystal, I think, is just throwing my nose off a bit because those are normally scent notes I really like. Um, and I get all of it. I get a pine and a sweet kind of berry type note with that icicle and sugar crystal. It's a good one. It's just not, I think, good for me personally. And next, sweet orange and evergreen. This was the scent of the month. Was this last month? I think this must have been November. Anyway. This is Fresh Cut Evergreen, Sweet Orange, and Cedarwood. And similar 
two. Kind of similar to cinnamon pine cones, but it's got a lot more evergreen in it. But it does have that kind of woodsy note. Out of the two, I prefer the sweet orange and evergreen. I don't get a ton of orange here, though, which is odd because it's in the name. Especially warming, I get even less orange than I do on cold. And medium performer, maybe strong, depending on your area. Um, totally mini. Can you tell I'm getting ready for, you know, I guess spring, summer? <laughs> Um, this is Pink Melon, Hibiscus Bloom, and Juicy Apple. And, yeah, that, you get all of that. Kind of a little bit of floral, but more, um, kind of like a pink pineapple and apple type scent. I wish it was stronger. So, keep it in a small room for sure. Small bathrooms, small, like office or you know smaller areas that it does great it's a good fruity kind of juvenile adolescent type scent next is velvet moon one my second favorite i think is it a second favorite new scent this year <laughs> this is vanilla flower white musk and foggy mist and yeah it's really powdery at first for a few hours but it's like the longer the scent goes, like days, the longer it goes, the more I like it. That powderiness goes away and you get this kind of clean, fresh air. But it's almost like it makes the air feel damp at the same time, like a foggy mist. I don't know how they do it. But um, performance-wise, I would say a good medium. I don't know that I would try it. Actually, I might try it in the large living room with high ceilings and see how it does. I'm kind of curious now. Okay, and I have Icicles and Evergreen. For some reason, I didn't like this scent last year, but this year I'm loving it. It is Blue Eucalyptus Pine Needle and Crystallized Sugar. And yeah, you get all of that. It's a little bit astringent. Which I think that's why some people aren't liking it. But for me, when I warm it, that kind of goes away. I love eucalyptus usually. Pine is kind of hit or miss, but I tend to like it usually. That sugar note adds a little bit of weirdness on cold, but it goes away melting as well. Which is what makes me think the Season of Magic, that sugar crystal, is the same thing that's in this. But it's just, to me, more noticeable in the Season of Magic. Anyway. Okay. Now, on to the mixes. Speaking of icicles and evergreen. I actually have this going right now in my living room. Living room, kitchen, laundry room areas. Icicles and Evergreen and Spiced Orange Harvest. This was a Bring Back My Bar, I guess in January this year, maybe? February, whenever they did it. Um, mm -mm. It is sweet orange, hmm? strong, sweet orange spiced with clove and cinnamon. So this orange scent is super sweet, juicy orange. Like biting into a Starburst with just a little bit of clove and cinnamon and mixed with icicles and evergreen was perfect. If you want to tone down icicles and evergreen and you happen to have a bar of this, I got probably 60% of the juicy orange with this in the background, um, but still very noticeable. So recommend that mix or anything that we have now maybe. Um, well, we have icicles and evergreen now, so maybe try it with sips of cider or any other um, maybe orange type scent. I'm trying to think if we have anything else. Anyway, yeah, suggest that one. And this one was a fail for me. Around the Campfire and Hug in a Mug. Around the Campfire is Mountain Air Fresh Fallen Wood Smoky Embers which for me is 
extremely smoky embers. I I don't know if I will like this in anything though. <laughs> so I will say that. Very smoky. Not good in any way to me. I mean, if you've been around like a bonfire or campfire or whatever, and you go in and you can still smell it on you, it's that scent. That smoky scent. Anyway. But I had seen a suggestion to mix it with Hug in a Mug, which is chocolate, hazelnut, and cookie dough. So, very sweet cookie dough, hazelnut, chocolate. Very, very sweet. So, I figured it would calm it down. Um, but I could still get that smoky note that I don't like. It, I was hoping the blend would kind of cut that, I don't know, offensive smoky note. <laughs> And, and leave me with something good, sweeter, I guess. But, yeah, I didn't like that one. Sorry. The next mix I have. I, I know um, someone had suggested, suggested rubber bands. I don't have rubber bands on hand, but I did have some hair tie things. They're not mine. Um, so, I uh, tried iced pine with frosted vanilla. I thought... Okay, iced pine is green fir, pine, and peppermint. For me, I absolutely get the peppermint in this. It is too much. I do not like it. I got this bar to use for my mixology series. Link in the uh, description below if you want to see those. Mixed with frosted vanilla, which I love. This is a sweet vanilla bean, birch bark, and frosty air. So this is a very sweet marshmallow with that smoky birch wood note in it, which is not smoky like around the campfire. It's more of a what you wish it would be, I guess. And while I could get both of them in the mix pretty equally, I still, I, the peppermint was a no for me in Ice Pine. But I'm glad to be done with that bar. So I guess I tolerated it a little better with the frosted vanilla mixed in. All right. Last mix is Mighty Pine and Sugar Cookie. Mighty Pine is fresh cut pine, icy lavender, and crisp mountain air. And it is a very astringent pine note with a little bit of lavender in there. I don't know that you would know it's in there. I don't know. You might could detect lavender in that one. And then sugar cookie as well. Sugar cookie... Uh, warm sweet blend of butter sugar and creamy vanilla and I know a lot of vendors do like a tree scent with cookie or a vanilla of some kind or even Bath and Body Works has um, vanilla balsam you know so that's why I tried these two together and I did like this although I like Mighty Pine on its own sugar cookie I have a hard time smelling because it's a vanilla scent but I enjoyed them together. So if you have these or any version of a tree scent, sugar cookies available, give it a try. You might like it. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, one more. Sorry, one more mix. I had this one pushed over to the side because it's vanilla bean buttercream in a bag and perfect peppermint. Guess what I was trying to do here? Did it work? Not new. I, I mean, it worked, but was it what I wanted specifically? No, it wasn't. Uh, perfect peppermint is... Uh oh whoa. Uh, pure peppermint. It's the popular kid you'll love to love. I'm not a fan of peppermint, like I said. So, but I did do some mixing with, like, a one peppermint to two vanilla bean buttercream ratio trying to do that candy cane buttercream scent it just wasn't sweet enough for me yes i could add more of the vanilla bean buttercream um 
and maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll try even a higher ratio of the vanilla bean buttercream with it for the rest of it that I need to use. But, you know, to each their own, though. I mean, y'all might like it. Okay, and then <clears throat> that's all the Scentsy I have. I only have a few other things. But if that's all you want to see, thank you for stopping by. And I don't know if I'll have a video up this weekend or next week. But if you subscribe, you will see it in your subscription feed. Um, yeah, and I'm going to try to do a little video of my tree here and add it to the end of this. So stay tuned for that if you want. All right, one country candle which is from Kringle candle and this is woodland scents of lavender berry sprays and balsam top notes cinnamon clove lavender cardamom mid notes of rhubarb blackberry dewberry geranium nutmeg with a base of cypress fir balsam labdanum and cedarwood this was a no. It's perfumey. Like, I kind of get a little bit of that perfuminess here, but when it was warm, it was too much. It's, and I kind of get all of that. I mean, it is, uh, <clears throat> oh, sorry. It, it does have a little bit of all of those notes, so I don't know that you could really pick it anything from it other than maybe florals because it is perfumey anyway and then three candles Whoop. I finished my <coughs> sorry sorry I finished my nest birchwood pine and it is white pine, fir balsam, and birch wood. Not a scent I would purchase again, but mainly because that woody note, just like I mentioned in some of these uh, Scentsy ones that I melted, I'm not super fond of wood notes. I like tree notes, the green part, but I don't like the wood notes, especially when they're the main part of the scent. Um, anyway, it's pretty though. I mean, it's a pretty scent, and it's a gorgeous vessel that it's in. I will say, don't put these vessels in a candle crock. Doesn't do well. Um, I put So, I put this under my candle lamp, and it did great there. I mean, lasted at least several weeks, I think it's been there. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not a super strong scent. It's kind of just one of those that's kind of barely there. Like, you're not purposely scenting the room. <laughs> kind of like that. Anyway, I will be reusing this, which is why it's empty. If you want to know more about candle crocs and lamps, check out that description box below. I have some videos talking about why I use them. Talking about the ones that I have and features and, you know, that type of thing. Next is the two Bath & Body Works candles. We've talked about this scent many times, Eucalyptus Rain. It comes every year for Candle Day, and I buy some. This one is from 2019. It says, Aromatic Eucalyptus, Spearmint Leaves, and Fresh Spring Rain. This was in my candle crock for over a week, probably. And... Oh, I just love this scent. It is so fresh without being how eucalyptus can be sometimes. You know, astringent, sharp. It doesn't have that. It's just fresh. I love it. I'll buy that candle every year. <laughs> and then this other one. I'm pretty sure this is a... Hold on. Let me tell you what it is. It is Land of Sweets. Very cute. And you know, in my haul, when I got this, um, I mentioned it smells familiar, but I cannot put my finger 
on what it is. And someone commented sugar grapefruit, I think, but I've never smelled that. So I was thinking, I don't think that's what I'm thinking of. So in the candle crock, this is absolutely champagne toast. <laughs> absolutely. I kept like smelling it and thinking, oh, what do I have in there? I don't even think I have any champagne toast candles. What do I have in there? Like all week I've been thinking, it smells like champagne toast. I let it cool down, pulled it out. And I was like, ah, that's why it smells familiar. I love champagne toast. <laughs> so makes sense why I would love this. Um, yeah, oh, sorry. I guess I could read you the notes. Um, I got no, it was sugared pomegranate is what they said it is, which makes sense because that's what the bottom says. But I've never heard of sugared pomegranate. I've never smelled it, so I don't know. Anyway, sit notes, sugared pomegranate, pink grapefruit, and sparkling bergamot. They can call it sugared pomegranate. They can call it land of sweets. They can call it champagne toast. I'm pretty sure it's all the same. It's a good kind of fruity, fresh type scent with a little almost effervescence to it. So, I love it. And I'll probably eventually buy some um, champagne toast in the spring once I get through some of the candles I got at Candle Day. Anyway, <laughs> so that sums it up for this week. Um, some favorites and some fails and you know, some mixes, a little of everything there. And like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a video for Saturday. Wouldn't it be awesome if my bring back my bar bundle came in this week? <gasps> I'm not even going <laughs> to, not even going to think about it because I doubt it will. But if it does, I will put that up on Saturday. <laughs> um, other than that, I don't know that I have anything else to, to record for you. So, I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas. And I hope you stay safe and well and get to spend time with your loved ones. And I will see you in the next video. Um, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to try to put in some footage of my Christmas. I wanted to show y'all my... Disney Christmas tree. This is the one you see behind me when I've been filming this month. Disney related ornaments. I really like these ear hat ornaments. That's got the all five park icons and that was actually just after they switched uh, Hollywood Studios from the Mickey hat which I have down here. That used to be the park icon and that came in a park icon set with the castle and you see the tree over there. And over here you can see that Epcot ball back there. A few more ear hat ornaments. This is from the new Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I'll say that three times fast. Splash Mountain. There's a Tiki Room one over there. I got this one this year just at Hallmark down the road. I love this. This is from Up. And just the love in their eyes. So sweet. And of course, can't have a Disney Christmas tree without Pooh Bear. And this was an ornament from the 50th anniversary I believe of course there's an ornament from when we went in 2018 sorry for the shakiness here's an ear hat from for the small world ride and another ornament from 2008 and here we have the ear hat ornament from the 50th anniversary we have Olaf 
and the C's ear hat ornament. Another Winnie the Pooh back there. And Eeyore. I think that covers, oh, I do have a Space Mountain one. I think that's the back you're seeing there, but you get the idea. So that's my Disney tree. I have this in my filming room that you're seeing in the background. I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas. Even Jake tells you Merry Christmas. Jake, say Merry Christmas. Yeah, he's looking for something to get into. <laughs> he likes to cuddle up on the red tree skirt there sometimes. Okay, I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.